Any other ultimate sexual fantasies? My girlfriend. My girlfriend. <laughs> well, maybe we could double team her. <laughs> my girlfriend is your ultimate sexual fantasy. <laughs> yes, people see my girlfriend and they see me and they say, she's only going out with you because you're famous. And I say, but I am famous. <laughs> What's your point? <laughs> is, is that your girlfriend? That is my girlfriend. That's your girlfriend? <laughs> I'm not going to swap if that's OK. <laughs> Can I just clarify, you are a beautiful lady, no disrespect to you, <laughs> but he heckled, I had to put him down, <laughs> and the only way to get to him was through you. <laughs> I like the way as well, I suggested your girlfriend wasn't good looking enough and you applauded. <laughs> Yeah, you'll be using those hands later on, won't you? <laughs> Let's hear from all the heterosexual men in the room. Give us a shout, all the heterosexual men. Yay! I'm guessing from that expression. <laughs> I can't remember which one heterosexual is. <laughs> I'm not taking a chance. Maybe this is how they recruit them. I thought my girlfriend was a slag when she told me I was her 30-second lover, and then I realised she was talking about time. <laughs> there is a minimum comprehension level you may be asked to leave. <laughs> I love swearing. I've always quite... Oh, you all right? Sorry, what was that? I missed a bit of chat. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's not the telly. If you talk, I can hear. Now you're looking pissed off. You're thinking, I didn't press the red button, it's gone all interactive. What, <laughs> what, what were you saying? Go on, say. I thought you were talking about snake bite the drink. You thought. You, <laughs> she just said, I thought you were talking about snake bite the drink. <laughs> yeah. What, what happened was. OK, in a joke, a joke is like two stories, yeah? <laughs> and the first story makes you make an assumption about something. So the assumption people made about snake bite in, in that joke was that it was a snake biting you. But, but he, no. <laughs> That's the setup of the joke. So you made the assumption he's talking about a snake bite, a snake biting someone. In the second part of the joke, often known as the punchline, <laughs> what, you'll, what you'll find is that rug will be, will be whipped from under you and you'll realise that the assumption you made was erroneous. <laughs> Suddenly revealing a fact that was previously concealed is, is the nature of all one-liners, Badham. So, in essence, I was talking about both snake bites, the thing that happens when a snake bites you, <laughs> and also the drink. <laughs> no problem at all, it's lovely to help. It's actually, it's nice to have you here this evening, because I think one of the charity gigs I did helped pay for the minibus that brought you here. <laughs> so, <laughs> nice to see that money wasn't wasted. <laughs> oh, bless her little heart. Uh, what are you making of the rest of the show? Are you just enjoying the spangly things? <laughs> say they want their ideal man to be the outdoors type, the kind of man that enjoys long walks in the countryside. And women say they want their ideal man to be the kind of man that'll take control, the kind of man that's not afraid to take a few risks. Basically, what you're saying, ladies, is your ideal man is a rapist. <laughs> and it's true, if you're a rapist, you've got pretty much your pick of women. <laughs> it's funny, cos it's true. Of course, not all gay people are happy, camp and fun. Some of them are lesbians. <laughs> if you're a lesbian and you didn't find that funny, you're surprising no one. <laughs> are there any lesbians in? <laughs> no, my gay dar is pretty much honed in on this, this pair down there. Hello, how are you two? You all right? Yeah. Are, are you, I presume you're a couple? You're married? Oh, congratulations. You. Fabulous. How long have you been married? Since October. Since October? My God, it's new and fresh. <laughs> have you even finished consummating the relationship? 
You don't know when you're finished, do you? That's one of the problems <laughs> with your lifestyle choice. We'll just put that on hold. We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> well, so you're married, you're committed to each other. Well, it's maybe a crazy question to ask you because you're in this long-term relationship and you love each other, but what would it take to get you back on solids? <laughs> She's a definite no and you're a maybe. OK, good. <laughs> I like the fact that you two look incredibly rock and roll in a sea of middle class. <laughs> what a wonderful thing. What, what do you do? Are you in a band or something? Me? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm in a shop called Cyberdog. Called Cyber what? Cyberdog. Cyberdog? Yeah. Where do you think I got this? <laughs> hey? <laughs> it's rubber on the inside. <laughs> I might have a funky underpinning. <laughs> I don't know what a funky underpinning is. That's how unfunky I am. Were you expecting more thrash metal at this gig? Yes, I'm sorry to disappoint. Your hair. What, I'm just saying. I'm just, I, I like the Spice Girls as much as the next man, but... It's a... No, it's... Hmm. I can't help noticing you've got a tattoo on your... A, well, it's your boob, isn't it, really? <laughs> it sort of draws the eye. What is that, exactly? It's a rose. On your... As if boobs aren't fun enough as they are. <laughs> She's thought, I'll tell you, I'll brighten these things up. <laughs> no fella's going to like these. What are guys like? They like flowers, don't they? Yeah, I'll get a <laughs> picture of a flower. I don't really understand the vajazzle. I mean, I know what a vajazzle is. I know, I know what it is. They whip away all the hair from your foo-foo and then they diamante it. I say they, I imagine you get some Pritzik and glitter and have a crack yourself. <laughs> have a sparkly crack yourself, you're welcome. Um, I just don't know who that's for. I've never met a man who said to me, oh, I love vaginas. But I wish they were a bit more zhuzhy. A few more sparkles wouldn't go amiss. I want a glamopus, a showbiz entrance. <laughs> Has anyone had a, a vajazzle? She had. What did you? What did you? What motif did you go for, madam? I just had a heart. I was a little bit embarrassed to ask for one. You you had a heart yeah. because you were embarrassed to ask for like something spectacular. So. You were embarrassed to ask for something spectacular. <laughs> so you were fine with someone putting glitter on your fanny, but you went. <laughs> I don't want to ask for anything embarrassing. <laughs> How adorable. And was it for a special occasion or was it just... No, I just thought, why not? You thought, why not? <laughs> well, plenty of fucking reasons. Basic hygiene. <laughs> Your boyfriend could chip a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> and it was definitely a proper vajazzle, not a Liverpool vajazzle, which is just a euphemism for herpes. Has anyone else come across a vajazzle? He has. He has. <laughs> <laughs> Not hers, I hope. Um, go on, what, what, what did they have? Uh, can't remember. It was my stag do. In my you can't remember? It was your, it was your stag do. <laughs> oh. You can't remember anything. Sounds like a Liverpool vajazzle to me. <laughs> no, love. I don't know what happened. It's just really itchy. Fucking hell. Yeah, go on, once. Is it right if your girlfriend wants you to watch her pee? <laughs> she likes you watching her pee. Yeah, trying to get you to watch her. She's like, oh, no. Uh, so, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. The, the, the question, I get asked that every show. <laughs> it's weird that you would ask that. So, because she likes a lot of people to watch her pee. Um, is that your thing? You like people to watch you pee? <laughs> well, clearly, yes. <laughs> He didn't say that for no reason, did he? Do you remember earlier when you said he was a pedo for making you dress up as a schoolgirl? <laughs> I think it might be payback time. <laughs> but surely you could just dress her as a schoolgirl and have her do a wee on you. That's fine. <laughs> that plays into your whole pedo fantasy. <laughs> Everyone's happy. Apart from anyone with any sort of sense of taste and decency. <laughs> who are frankly horrified by you too. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Sam. Sam. Hi, Sam. What, sorry? Southwell. Southwell? Yeah, definitely, I need a surname for this. <laughs> I'm not in charge of the register, don't worry about that. <laughs> oh. 
So, and what is it about being watched pee that you enjoy? Well, just tell us. We're all interested to know. Well, you do, so... It's not like that. What is it like? <laughs> For a glass of water, we'll all find out. <laughs> <laughs> I just think, if you live with someone, you should feel comfortable enough to do anything in front of them. Yes. Once you've, you know, once you've been with someone, there's a level of intimacy that suggests that you would be uh, able to pee in front of them or, or maybe shit on their chest. <laughs> but some people aren't like us, baby. <laughs> some people don't think in the way... They're closed-minded. They've got a sense of, I don't know, appropriate occasion. <laughs> It's all right, we're not taping this for... Oh, no, we are. <laughs> Lovely golden showers. <laughs> Any other thoughts? What car do I drive? What car do I drive? I don't actually drive a car, sir. I roll in one. <laughs> Motherfucker, yeah, with the bitches in the back, yeah! Any other questions, thoughts? What's your favourite type of cheese? What's my favourite type of cheese? <laughs> Knob. <laughs> Where's the best place you performed? The best place I've performed? I'd have to say in your girlfriend. <laughs> You used to teach at my, my school, at Burnham Grammar, did you? Not when I was there, surely. No, unless you moisturise a lot. Are you? Where are you from? <laughs> you're from you're from Belfast, right? Ginger and community. I was just saying what you said to me back. I... <laughs> Oh, how come you're teaching over here, then? Are you in the witness relocation scheme? What the fuck happened? <laughs> Fucking grass. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you teach? What, what subject? What, sorry? English. English? You can barely fucking pronounce. <laughs> My point, there's an incredible amount of pressure on women these days to be beautiful and thin, and all I can say is, we've got some very brave girls in here this evening, really. <laughs> Terrific stuff. <sighs> so there are some stunning-looking women in here this evening, and some right dogs. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> I'm joking. No one in here is stunning. What is the worst gift you've ever got? Birthday, anniversary, Christmas, Valentine's. What is the worst piece of shit you ever got? <laughs> <clears throat> We've had a heckle. Go on, what, what was that? Say a little bit louder. <laughs> no, that was fine. Uh, sir, what, what's your name? What, what, sorry? Toby. Toby. Toby, do you mind me sharing with the group? Thank you very much indeed, Toby. That makes it much easier. Because there's a heckle. It's quite a good heckle, quite a funny heckle. But we have to do a heckle put-down now. God. <laughs> I would love if I could just let it go, but I can't. <laughs> there are rules. <laughs> but you don't mind me sharing with the group, so it makes it much easier. We can go old school. Stop what, sorry? Stop stalling. Stop stalling. <laughs> don't panic, sir. <laughs> I've got this. I'll have to put you on asshole waiting. <laughs> Uh, Toby's mum <laughs> is so fat. <laughs> She's a fucking disgrace, Toby. Your mum is such a chunky monkey wobble slob. <laughs> Fatty boom batty blubber naught. She's so fucking fat, when she fell down the stairs, I thought EastEnders had finished. <laughs> boom, 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 boom.
True story. Ahem. <laughs> you, sir. What did you say? What was it? Stop stalling? Yeah? What, what's your name? Gary. Are you trying to say Gary? <laughs> Watch me. Gary. <laughs> yeah. 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 The fuck is that? <laughs> well, Gary, if you want my comeback, you'll have to scrape it off your mum's teeth. <laughs> men, men tend to fall asleep directly after sex. All I'm saying is, maybe for women, put a bit more into it. <laughs> Sorry, that's not meant to be misogynistic in any way. I was reading in Tits and Ass magazine. Very interesting and informative article. It was about the difficulties of asking your partner for anal sex. It was entitled, What If She Takes It The Wrong Way? <laughs> Sorry, I can see you're shifting uncomfortably there. I didn't, mean to, I didn't mean to offend you. I'm sure whatever you decide about anal sex, I'm sure he'll be right behind you. <laughs> it's easier to get forgiveness than permission. <laughs> Just thought I'd slip that in. <laughs> they say don't masturbate, you'll go blind. Yeah, only if you get it in your eyes. <laughs> Aim away. Who do you think about when you masturbate? <laughs> Her. So do I, she's lovely. <laughs> that was a good answer, you think about your partner when you masturbate. I think I'll put my hand on my heart, speak on behalf of every man in here and say, when we masturbate, we think about you ladies. We think about our partners, our wives and our girlfriends. Yeah? We think, <laughs> we do. I do, I always think of my girlfriend. I think, Ocean's walk in. <laughs> She doesn't even know I've got these magazines. <laughs> I'd like to end by talking about threesomes, because it tends to divide the sexes. Most men would be quite up for a threesome with two girls. Most women don't really fancy that action. If you're asked to bring a friend, you tend to get a little bit offended. And I think it's because men are such bad communicators. You know, when we ask for that, women sort of hear, oh, what, I'm not enough woman for you, you need two women to satisfy you because you're such a big man. That's not what we're saying, ladies. What we're saying is, wouldn't it be brilliant if after sex there was someone there for you to talk to? <laughs> A very common male fantasy is to have two women at the same time. One to cook, one to clean. Right? <laughs> Easy there, I'm joking. They want to fuck them. <laughs> I'll have a bit of a sit down, I think. Oh, you're all right. Was this the sort of thing you had in mind? <laughs> no, right, OK, I'm fucked. <laughs> Who's come the furthest? Did anyone come from, like, a long way away, overseas? Or a... Canvey Island. <laughs> right, now I know Canvey Island, so I happen to know that you've not come a long way from your home. You've just brought it with you. <laughs> Did you come with him? <laughs> no, good. Canvey Island's the furthest anyone came. Well, fuck you. <laughs> you were all in the area anyway, were you? What's that? Was that Dover? But you were castrated before you got a chance to... <laughs> right. <laughs> were you worried about sounding silly, so you thought, well, I'll put on a ludicrous high-pitched voice? <laughs> that should sort things out, shouldn't it? So you're a sailor, are you? <laughs> Imagine my surprise at your high-pitched voice. Hmm. Worst gifts. What, what's the worst gift? What, sorry? You got a bread maker. I, uh, your husband bought you a bread maker. What a fucking arsehole. <laughs> uh, no, I just hate the whole concept. Because bread makers, and I mean, I bet I spent like 200 quid on a bread maker. That's convenient, isn't it? Because you don't live near shops and bread isn't fucking cheap. <laughs> oh, I'll just make my own, that's fine. Because the ingredients cost more than a loaf of bread, but don't worry about it. <laughs> so what did you get him? Instead of an engagement ring, you... <laughs> You've got a bread maker instead of an engagement ring. <laughs> you broke up with him, right? You've just divorced him. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Why did you go through with marrying him? I mean, that must have been fucking awkward in the office. Oh. Oh, it's a nice one. Sparkly. 
you poor thing. Any other bad gifts? You got what? Poor what, sir? A dog pooper scooper. <laughs> Do you have a dog? At the time, yes. At the time, yes. <laughs> the fuck have you done with your dog, dude? <laughs> what happened to your dog? You don't have him anymore. Oh, <gasps> Toby's mum ate him. <laughs> the fat bitch. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Um, <laughs> Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr, and I'm announcing my new tour. It's called Jimmy Carr Laughs Funny. Because there'll be laughs, and it'll be funny, and because I laugh funny. Uh, come and see me. Go to jimmycarr.com for details. You know, dates and tickets and all that kind of thing. You know how to buy tickets. Go and buy some tickets.